Look at the record. What do we keep talking about? The names. Benson Henderson has beaten the consistency of his career. Michael Chandler wants to erase that record of Henderson's with a knockout. Five years of waiting is over. It's main event time. Michael C. Williams time. Ladies and gentlemen, live on Spike, Miller Light presents Bellator MMA from San Jose, California. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Five, five minute rounds for the Bellator Lightweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Commissioner John Clark Valley Chair, Executive Officer at Cage Side, Mr. Andy Foster. Tonight's world title fight is brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. It's Miller time. And now, first introducing the blue corner. At five foot nine, he weighed in 154.9 pounds. The two-time former lightweight champion tonight fights for his third world title. He stands with 24 professional victories, six defeats. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, presenting the challenger, Smooth Benson. And across the cage, the champion tonight fights up in the red corner at five foot eight, weighing in 155 pounds even. The two-time champion tonight makes the first defense after reclaiming the title, entering the Bellator cage with 15 victories, just three defeats. Originally from High Ridge, Missouri, he fights out of Boca Raton, Florida, the defending Bellator lightweight world champion, Iron Michael Chandler. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, Big John McCarthy. Gentlemen, John, over the rules in the back, I want you to protect yourself at all times, obey my commands. All times I want you to fight hard and fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Good luck. Thank you, baby. That moment before the die of history is cast. All right, here we go. You ready? You ready? Get up. The fight clock in the main event for the lightweight world title brought to you by Miller Lite, the original light beer. Cheers. It's Miller time. What you talked about, Shell, when, when Michael Chandler seems like a young fighter, part of it is that explosive start, that energy he brings in. Most guys mellow out a little bit, being 15 and 3, he still comes out with kind of youthful energy. It's the only way I can put it. 15 wins, 13 by way of finish, 11 of those in the first round. I checked his record. He told me that set. I said, well, you know, that's not true. They're not all in the in the first round. He said, well, they were close enough. <laughs> I don't know that it Very works true. that way, but this is what he said. So fine, 15, 13 wins Whoa. in the first round. You talk about the eye of the tiger. If you saw that stare down, that's what Benson Henderson had in his face. That is exactly, exactly the look that that expression came from. Chandler really is the one controlling the ring so far. Good kick followed up by a straight. Jimmy, we didn't see that look coming down the ramp for Ben Henderson in his first two fights in Bellator. We did not. This is his future, like he just said. Korshkov, you could put down to well, that was a 170 pounder. Poor performance against Pitbull, while I was warming up, I would have warmed up in rounds two and three. He can't lose this fight and think that his future is going to be the same as his past. That's fair. That's a fair point. I will point out, and a lot of times when fighters take the skid and it starts to be uh, towards the end of their career, their jaw gives out, something gives out, their body gets hurt. That's not the case with Benson Henderson. He's as tough as an old leather boot. He's never given up in there, and perhaps he did underestimate a couple of guys coming in as a guy that had climbed the mountain, not just once, but twice. He knows exactly what he's in here for with Michael Chandler. So Chandler beat him, he will be beating the best Benson Henderson we've seen yet. RDA knocked out Ben Henderson, but he had never been dominated the way he was by Andre Korshkov for five full rounds. You can make the case if you want, that first round with Patricio Pico, Ben Henderson hasn't even won a round yet. No, I haven't given him, been in the Bellator cage for a half hour, I haven't given him a round. Nice Good right hand. by Michael Chandler. Another one, another one connected, that's two. Benson Henderson needs to grab it or circle off here, not go back three. That one got through. Oh, that one got through. Chandler
They're walking forward right now with no respect. Going in wide at Benson Henderson. He's looking for the first round KO. Taylor cannot knee the head. He can knee the rest of the body, but he can certainly punch to the face, and he is. Benson Henderson's got to change his position. Right here, he's clamped down to one arm. That's a great start. Buy yourself some time. Get the glove check. Wow, what a suplex by Michael Chandler. That's a five-point throw, my friend. Go for the guillotine. This is a Neil Melanson technique. Positioning isn't great, though, and he gives it up. He knew he couldn't finish in half guard. Smart move. Smart good move. He's doing what we call framing now, where he's going to push off the chin, get his form under. Benson Henderson going to a rubber guard, which oh, I don't guard. recall him doing before. But frankly, he's in a pretty good position. Options are a couple here. He's Primarily, jammed reversed in this, and he gets out. Primarily a triangle choke. He's lost the position. We've seen Benson Henderson score in this position. I remember he knocked Frankie Edgar halfway out with an up kick. Michael Chandler doing a good job keeping his hips forward. Right now, Chandler's showing no fear. He needs to keep his chin protected. Benson Henderson is excellent at kicking his opponents in the face from this position. Nice right hand. Another one gets through. Another round in Bellator that Ben Henderson is getting dominated and Michael Chandler trying to lock in. Michael Chandler has this on a normal opponent. That would have worked. Oh, great that right, right hand. Got through. That is how Ben Henderson got knocked out by RDA in a scramble trying to get up. Michael Chandler just teeing off. He's swinging like this is a one-round fight. If he keeps and connects one more time, it may be. Gentlemen, on a different opponent, this one would have been over. I don't know if the fans at home understand the beating that Benson Henderson just took in the last four and a half minutes because wow. he pushed through. Both of those chokes were secured. Three of those four shots were fight-ending punches. And here we see Mr. Smooth show us all why he is a two-time world champion. The question for Chandler coming in this fight was pacing. He unloaded right now, now he needs a break. He has a history of doing that throughout his fights. Can he get his energy back in between rounds? A monster first round for the champion, Michael Chandler. How much did it cost him is the question. I would, based on what we've seen. Man, I should have laughed, bro. If you want to pour on your head, I'll draw you. I didn't see that. I got it. I got it. There was no referee yeah. hovering. It was two. Everything's a two. You want to grapple him some more? He's getting tired. So we'll bring you hear me? Got him. That's a hey, you gotta move that head. Period. The beating, see, it's unbelievable. Those chokes, oh. Let's go. That's a tough man. He's a gangster as well. Yes, he is. He's a gangster. Yes. When someday Ben Henderson goes into the Hall of Fame, they'll be talking about his chin and his ability to keep coming forward. Unreal. Now, the discussion becomes, was round one a 10-8 round for Michael Chandler or a 10-9 round? I went 10-9, and I'll tell you why. I didn't see that fight-ending moment. He ate some big punches. I didn't see a moment where, the, where Big John was thinking about coming in. It wasn't that kind of sustained fight-ending beating, but I went 10-9. Wouldn't surprise me if the judge went through the way. We should add, we've seen a lot of fights tonight. Judges have been liberal with the 10-8 rounds. We've seen it throughout the course of the night. I watched his fight with Eddie Alvarez, Michael Chan's fight with Eddie Alvarez, over and over and over again. And what stood out to me was fantastic one round, recharging one round, letting Eddie back into it, back and forth, made for a great fight. But you see why he unloads, then he needs a recharge sometimes. Now Chandler told you the other day in fighter interviews, he said, you know, it's not a matter that I fatigue. He said, I come out with a pace higher than any man has ever seen. So I only have one way to go, which is down a little bit, but I'm not gassing. I don't know that I fully believe that. 
Oh. If you start with one pace and you diminish, and, and I do understand his point, good shot there by Benson Henderson. But time will tell, can he keep this pace? In the last frame, he was the one moving forward, with Benson Henderson moving back. In this frame, we're starting to see ben, Benson Henderson stalking a little bit with Chandler catching some breath and backing up. I was telling my guy when I used to coach, never set a pace you can't keep. Chandler thrives on doing that. He ramps up, he goes down, he ramps up, he goes down. Benson Henderson always consistent, never expecting to not be in front of you. Oh, another good right hook over the top. That got through. That got through for Benson. No follow-up on it. There he digs to the body. Chandler steps back just a little bit. Push kick followed by a cross for Chandler. But we're not seeing a lot of that I expected to see is Benson Henderson with those lead leg kicks like that, but also the teeps, the range finding things that guys have trouble. You have to get around his legs to get to his upper body. Hasn't been throwing a ton of that. Yeah, that's right, particularly when you are taking on a wrestler. And I realize Chandler hasn't used a lot of that. He's kind of striking with him. However, that is something we saw it earlier tonight in the Gertz fight. We saw his opponent, Adam, was throwing the kick right up the middle, kept Gertz off him. Now, Benson comes in with a one-two. But he's content to fight it at boxing range, and I thought that was surprising. Okay, I, I couldn't tell if Benson got knocked down there and grabbed the legs on the way down or if he shot right as he was getting punched. He tends to do that, change levels when he gets hit. Try to take his opponent down. Good kick to the body. Chandler responds, the response, good outside kick there. Seen a few of those from Henderson in this round. Now that's a great tweet right there. How long can Chandler keep the pace, but how long can Benson continue taking the beating? We've seen Benson take the beating for a long time. There's more evidence that Henderson can take a beating for a long time rather than Chandler can keep the pace for a long time. Kick was low. We've talked over and over again in the months leading up to this fight about the deep water that Ben Henderson wants to take Michael Chandler into. But that shallow water is solid. shark infested. It You've got to swim solid. through it, it to get there. You okay? Here's the How you feeling? groin shot. Bam, oh. right to the cup. Yep. This is the, the si so sideways, sideways always bad. It moves it. You all right? Sideways always moves it, is what John McCarthy said. The end yes. is moves the cup. Think Come here. Bam. Bam. Take a deep breath. I want to see it. Michael Chandler will be given up to five minutes. He can stop his own clock, which he just did. Careful with where it's at, all right? And guys, in fairness, there's a little gamesmanship there, too. That was not Chandler's fault. That was a low blow. He's given five minutes. If he needs to catch his breath, go ahead and take that time. He decided to come back into the fire. So perhaps he isn't as fatigued. Now, I thought we'd see thought. more of this from this. The range finding yeah, The kicks. range finding kicks, the teeps, the side stuff. So frustrating getting through that kind of stuff. Yeah, and he's scoring. And he's scoring at these. These matter to judges. This is a very close round, and Benson Henderson is scoring. I have it about even right now. I think whoever owns this last minute wins the round to me. What do you have to do to Ben Henderson? John McCarthy was the official when he suffered that one knockout loss. And even that, two more seconds, you get the feeling he would have snapped back. Who, by the way, RDA has welterweight power. That sure does. This is where he's done damage against the fence. Another good right hand. This is a good fifth minute here in this round for Michael Chandler. This is a very tough round to call right now. God, why do fighters do so much core work? Yeah, because of that. God, those kicks suck. Uh, uh, Chandler. Chandler, he finished a little stronger. That was the only Yeah. A little harder shots, too. You don't want to Yeah. Oh, he's fine. 
Yeah. Just keep that jerking motion when you, you, and keep your base a little lower because right? that way you won't get underneath him. But we got to start painting the shot a little bit. We don't have to rush it, but just he backs yeah. off easy when you pressure him. Mix it up, man. When he regained the world title in June, Michael Chandler was looking down at Patricio Pitbull from the top of the cage. But in the Bellator record book, he is looking up at him. Patricio, the only one above him in wins. That, that leg kick to the body keeps on getting through. Jake Ellenberger recently finished Matt Brown with that exact same kick. And there, and Vincent, Vincent should just keep going back to the well, guys. Chandler is not going to adjust it during this round. All right, Jimmy, there'll be a lot of discussion that second round. Obviously, however you saw it, it was very close. Extremely close. I went 10-9 Chandler. I thought he finished a little stronger and landed some power shots with the right hand. For those at home who always hate my scorecard, the American Gage and I agree on that one, 10-9, so he can take some of the heat for it, too. Very close round. It's also possible there are judges that went 10-8 for Chandler in the first round and gave the second round to Ben Henderson. There's all over the board ways to go. Nothing in sport like controversy, gentlemen. Yep. Vincent Henderson's smart. Boy, I want to be smiling after that. Nothing <laughs> in sport like two high-level world championship caliber fighters meeting in the main event. And when he starts doing that, oh, there's a hurricane kick, kick, kick to the ribs like that. As the rounds go on, breathing gets harder and harder. It feels like you have an anaconda around your chest when that swelling starts setting in. Great shot by Henderson. Now we're seeing good defense here by Chandler. But a good pressure and a good scramble by Henderson. Good leg kick by Chandler. Round and round they go. Right here in the eyes of the judges, guys, even though not lots is happening, whoever has their back against the fence is losing the position, and these seconds matter. If Henderson can just hold this, even lift a knee, maybe a foot stomp. Do it. Now, when they're in those clinch positions, when the double leg positions, Chandler, a little bit shorter, a little bit stocky, it's hard to get underneath his shoulders, which is huge if you're going for the takedown. Only way to do it. If you want to take him down, you've got to get underneath him. Another good leg kick there by Chandler. Benson backing up, conceding real estate of that ring a little more than he usually does, a little more than I like. But Chandler also doing a good job of cutting him off and putting pressure. There's a good one, two by Chandler, and again, it does score. We saw the same thing against Korshkov. Once he felt the power, once he got the respect, he started playing the outside. We're seeing a similar thing. His right hands hurt him, no doubt, in round one. Henderson is taking that good one-two basic combo right on the jaw. Oftentimes, the real problem, gentlemen, is he's not firing back. When he takes that shot, he needs to answer. Now, he's done well with the jab and this kind of lead, lead right hook. I think he needs to mix in a few more power shots with his left hand. See if he can get Michael Chandler back up. Go for the guillotine. All right, Chandler had this exact same position in the first round. Should have finished the fight. Benson Henderson found a way out of it twice. Chandler has it again here. He should finish this fight. Problem is, as soon as he gets guillotine position, Chandler, I'm sorry, uh, Henderson pulls half guard, which makes the guillotine much, much harder to finish. He'll concede that bottom position to get out of the guillotine. Any fighter that wants out of a contest takes that opportunity that Chandler just gave him. Benson Henderson is here to fight, gentlemen. For sure. Chandler one to the back. Can't see if he has the other one. They're up against the fence. Chandler has what I call wrestler's jujitsu. It's opportunistic. If I get your neck, your naked choke, front choke, I squeeze until you're out. It's not pretty, but it's powerful. You don't think the kicks of Ben Anderson are doing damage. Get a load of the left leg of Michael Chandler. Oh, man.
Good scramble here, but Chandler on top. And like we said about the fence work, on top you're winning in the eyes of the judges. There's nothing normal about Ben Henderson. Nothing at all. Benson Henderson just won't concede a position. Michael Chandler, when he gets on top, he needs his opponent to relax, to concede. Okay, you've got the position. Let's see what you can do. Benson Henderson will not do that. He keeps moving, he keeps working, and it's making it hard. Though Chandler is having good moments here, it is making him hard to advance. You think you're gonna get 25 yeah. easy minutes out of Benson Henderson 155, you're wrong. You are wrong. Let's that sit out that Kelly can't get it. Wow, Ooh, interesting I don't know choice. If I agree with that. Interesting choice. Henderson has a great guillotine. He's going low single leg. Very interesting why Chandler chose to put his head underneath. Living up to the bill. Hey, you can hit you there with it. If you've just found your way to us, we are through three rounds of the lightweight world title fight. Years in the making between Ben Henderson and Michael Chandler. And Michael Chandler guy started strong. Beautiful right hands, aggressive. Look at this beautiful suplex. Five point throw in freestyle. And then Michael Chandler going for the ground and pound. I don't know what is in Benson Henderson's head, but it's not normal brain matter because he started coming back in round number two. Yeah, absolutely. Benson Henderson is anything but conceding this contest. And with two rounds left, I think he's down by three, but I don't know if he knows it. Benson Henderson is here to win a world championship. It's as simple as that, guys. Every round, there hasn't been an easy round to call. Was the first round 10-8 or 10-9? Was the second round, was it Chandler or Henderson? How did you guys see the third round? I saw that was pretty clearly 10-9 Chandler. On top a lot, landed the better punches. Now, Michael Chandler is winning the fight, but look at the number on your screen. When fights go this far, now we're in Ben Henderson's territory. Exactly. That was in round five. It was not a decision. Michael Chandler has only lost three fights. The two decisions that he lost were both very controversial, very close fights with Will Brooks and the rematch with Eddie Alvarez. Ben Henderson has gone to the judges 14 times and 11 times has had his hand raised. Great shot here by Chandler. One of his first picks him right up. Watch the triangle, dumps him. The only advantage to picking a guy up off the ground is you gotta put him down where you want. I don't think Chandler quite got over to his corner. An old Matt Hughes favorite. Remember Frank Matt Hughes? Yeah, yeah he that trick. walk you right over to his corner and plant you hard as a rock. Matt Hughes used to get into the ring before the fight and walk around and feel the hardest part of the ring. That's a true story. Pick his opponent and try to put him down on that. I think Chandler had a little uh, inspiration there. He's got Benson Henderson down. He's starting to score, but guys, look at Benson Henderson. He will not concede a position. He will not lay there until he stops moving. Michael Chandler can't start an offense. It's tricky. It it's is very tricky. It, it, I just want everyone to understand how tough this is an absolute display of toughness by Benson Henderson, who's got a Kimura. Can't finish. Chandler comes out. Henson, uh, Benson Henderson has been flirting and taunting a triangle choke all night long. Sooner or later, he's going to throw that up. Yep. The ground game, very, very tricky, very underrated. Deep in the fight, bodies are sweaty, much harder to hang on to positions like that, especially from where Ben Henderson was. And one thing, just to add to that note about the takedown, getting lifted like that, usually demoralizing. It can take guys mentally on and do beasts you like that. Man, it takes a lot of wind out of your sails. Don't expect that from Ben and Henderson. Benson Henderson, too experienced. Benson just waited wow. for gravity to kick in, knew he'd come down eventually, and went right back to work. I'm fully aware he is losing these positions. I'm just saying it is so surprising that he will not concede. He will not concede anything. Tricky little Chandler. details. Tricky little details keep enough, enough weight off him. Switch, trying to come out again. Chandler won't give him any space. 
Chandler's got his hands locked here. The first thing Benson needs to do is try to break that lock. He can pummel inside. He can put pressure on the wrist or the elbow. He can threaten a guillotine. Beautiful. Excellent. Excellent reshot and a lift there by Chandler. And just like you, I've done my research. Michael Chandler, never a state champion. Second in Missouri, just like you. Second, he said it, it just kept that fire burning all the way through college and made him an All-American. He wasn't one of those prospects coming ben out. Ben Henderson running for it again. Chandler's gonna have to roll. Chip. Okay. You know, his hips weren't behind that submission. He had the Kimura position with his arms, but his hips weren't engaged, not gonna finish that. Yeah, to the point you made a minute ago, you're right. He, he wasn't a champion as a high school athlete. He went into college at Missouri with the greats like Ben Askren. Yep. He went in there with Tyron Woodley. He battled it out, he set his goals, and he's been able to elongate his career. And here is a former non-state champion who is now the world yeah. champion. And even as the world champion, he had something else to drive him, and that was exactly. Ben Henderson. Exactly. He's always found that motivation somewhere. Henderson, a guy who usually nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. I see some deep breaths right now. Starting to feel the fatigue. Because, man, Chandler relentless with this pressure on top. Wasn't sure if he'd able to be, be able to get in this position. And, Man, he's just not letting Henderson off the hook. Could Michael Chandler do it in rounds four and five? That was the question. There was an inevitability that this fight would end up here. And once again, going five. single leg, late, kind of an Iranian position. That's dangerous against a tricky grappler. I don't understand it. Anytime you're in a grappling position, you want your head higher than your opponent's. He is electing to put his head lower. Ben Henderson, Henderson trying to get under Chandler, trying to roll over. Oh, oh man. Wow. Huge escape for the world champion. does not believe this fight is stopped, does he? It almost okay. looked that way for a second. <laughs> no, he's taking his stool, all right. Listen to me. Chandler had so. trouble getting Listen, up. I don't know if they got that on camera. He had trouble yeah. getting back to his stool, heart. had to be helped. We're in a situation right now where that man could conceivably be down four rounds to none, depending on how you see this thing. And yet, you look at Michael Chandler now and look at Ben Henderson, and the fifth round is where he lives and breathes. No. You gotta move around and make him work. Uh, we, we've even got the doctor. You gotta the California State Athletic you Commission me? doctor is in the I'll ring and up. looking at Michael Chandler. Here's the end of that round. Flips over, gets out of this crucifix position. Bell rings, and look at it here. He stayed there on his knees and watch him get up right now. He stumbles trying to get up and get to his school. So now the drama off the right chart there. as Michael Chandler, who could conceivably, depending on how you score this, he could be up 4 nothing. And yet Michael Chandler, the worst for wear, and Ben Henderson now in the fifth round where he lives and breathes, and he was pumping up the crowd in between rounds while Michael Chandler was just trying to get to the stool. Chandler has never been a guy who goes into survival mode easily. Now, his hands down, still coming forward. He's not angling and circling and playing for the final belt. He doesn't do that. For better or for worse. For better or worse. Listen, you dance with the one that brought you. He seems to know what he's doing. I'll tell you this from that last round. He was stuck. That was excellent, excellent defensive technique by Chandler to get out of that. Here we are now, and, and Benson Henderson is pushing forward. I think Henderson clearly knows he needs a stoppage in this round, and I think he's gonna go out and try to get it. The only round of my scorecard that's up in the air is round two. I went 10-9 Chandler, could easily go 10-9 Benson Henderson. All the other rounds, I think, pretty clearly Michael Chandler. But remember, and if you're just joining us, 10-8 was in play in round number one. On a night, the judges have been fairly liberal with the 10-8. Fans, Jimmy Smith MMA on Twitter, let me know what you think. I only think round two is close. I see this basically out of range for Benson Henderson. He needs a finish. Ben Henderson is not human. Oh, brutal body shot. But 
He's also ne not necessarily a knockout puncher either. Nope. He's not a guy who knocks opponents out. Three knockouts in 30 pro fights. Here he is. You know, he, okay, he's failed at two takedown attempts earlier tonight. He got the third. Now he's got his, what is going on, gentlemen? Both Benson Henderson just put the hooks in on Michael Chandler. He's turning the chin. He is turning his chin. This is a pressure hold. He's not going to choke him out here, but he nope. can make this very, very uncomfortable. He can crank him, but with a neck like Michael Chandler's, I don't see that happening. He needs the full choke. And Michael Chandler, that's a face of an exhausted fighter. Benson Henderson looking for a body triangle. He couldn't quite find it. He missed it by about a half an inch. Going for the arm bar, and he's out. Wow. Whoa. Wow. That is what we call in the business a hope spot. <laughs> Major opportunity there for Benson Henderson. And we are only halfway through this round. I assure you, he is not done trying to win this contest. Michael Chandler, that's the face of a world champion hanging on for dear switch. life. Oh, Boy, the switch couldn't get it. Very smart by Chandler right now. He's just keeping this double, keeping that shoulder pressure, grinding Benson Henderson, and he's trying to beat one thing. And it's not Benson, gentlemen. It's the clock. What can Michael Chandler do in his sleep? Has he been doing his whole life? Russell, he even though wrestle. he's tired, you go to what you know. You go to the things you're used to. He's going to his wrestling because his energy just isn't there. But right now, Benson Henderson turning it on again. Benson's gonna come out with his back again. I don't know that he'll get both legs in again in this fight. It was a very great position. Chandler doing just enough. But again, anytime you are in a wrestling position, whoever has his head higher is winning. And Chandler has elected three times now to put his head underneath Benson. For that single leg, low single leg, Iranian kind of position in between both legs. And both times it's been risky. Now he's in a tub, he can get crucifixed here. In MMA grappling, whoever's head is higher is winning yep. the position. Ben Henderson survived the first round onslaught for Michael Chandler. Can Michael Chandler survive the deep water that Ben Henderson has made a career swimming in? Biggest question of this fight. Those were the two. Could Henderson, could Henderson handle the explosion of Michael Chandler? Could Chandler handle the late surge of Benson Henderson? We knew it coming in. We really know it now. The Chandler's giving Benson Henderson uh, an inverted triangle. Henderson isn't taken. Liam McGeary would have taken it. And here, Chandler dig. Look at Chandler's digging. He's so smart. He knows what he needs to do. He knows he's not in great position here, but he's doing enough to protect himself. Ben Henderson, the heart of a champion to survive round one. Michael Chandler trying to find the heart of a champion to last 25 more seconds. Once again, low single leg position. Gotta watch the triangle coming out the back door. Now Henderson trying to circle. 15 seconds. What's Henderson got? There's not a lot of options. Maybe a guillotine attempt. He's pulling his arms up to knee him. He's out. Oh! Oh, Benson Henderson. And a fight for legacy becomes an instant classic. Benson touched John McCarthy. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he was, he was not aggressively. He was simply trying to get one last shot in on Chandler. I mean, guys, if there's any story of this fight, it's frankly, it's not who leads with the title. I think that we all can come to agree it's what's going to happen there. It is a story of heart. It is a story of two guys who would not concede their dream to the other. They would not. Henderson has a bunch of energy at the end of this fight. He's, he's walking around yelling at everybody. He's bouncing up and down. Always my question in a situation, and that, uh, there's still bad blood here, is where was this energy in round two, round three, round four? When a guy ends the fight with a lot of energy, I always wonder where he could have spent it better. Smiling. I always wonder that. Smiling isn't winning. Yes, exactly. You know? Benson's having a little fun playing to the crowd. The crowd will not be judging this contest, unfortunately. And Chandler is a little too tired to get, uh, you know, to go along with it. He did what he was supposed to do. He left it all. I get to your point, it. Jimmy, Benson does have a little bit too much energy right now, doesn't it? That's how I feel about it, but we'll see. Let's check out the Blackhawk premium spice room replay. The bold 93 proof from that's edgy to the core. This fight, you called it an instant classic for a reason. The back and forth, Michael Chandler exploding in round one. 
Benson Henderson proving that he can take a shot with anyone, not only in this division, oh. I think in the welterweight division, and then coming back, showing grit, heart, guts, technique, making it close through the middle rounds of Michael Chandler. I think controlled it partly on his takedown, top position, positions like this, where he was able to keep it close. Now look at this escape at the end of round four, and then round five, high drama. The only way you could say it, Benson Henderson fighting like his life and career depended on it, and he got out of the round. Man, what a fight. And here was the final escape. Michael Chandler, incredible stuff. How did you see it, Jimmy? I only gave Benson Henderson round five, 10, nine. Round two was close, maybe, but I don't see how you can take it away from Michael Chandler, but I gotta tell you, I've seen worse, Chael. Sure, sure I have, too. High drama for 25 minutes. The suspense ends now. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone five full rounds of action in this world title fight, we'll go now to your three judges at cage side. Your first judge, Michael Bell, scores the fight 48-46. He scores it for Chandler. Your second judge, Ron McCarthy, Scores the fight 48-46. He sees it for Henderson. At King Side, your third and final judge, Derek Cleary, scores the fight 48 to 47. For the winner by split decision. And still, Bellator Lightweight World Champion, Iron Michael. Five years ago, he climbed to the top of the mountain in the fight of the year against Eddie Alvarez. Tonight, he reaches the mountaintop he wanted for himself. He has beaten Ben Henderson and stayed the world champion, Michael Chandler, with Jimmy Smith. I'm talking to a man who's still wearing the lightweight belt, Michael Chandler, but you just told me I'm disappointed in myself. I got to know why. That was a tremendous fight. I think it came down to that first round. Dominated. Benson's a heck of a competitor. Hey, man, you can't be perfect in here. You just got to find a way to win. That's what I did. Sorry to everybody who's disappointed. I will get better. I will come back. Don't be mad at me. I just bring it. Round one, you talked about not being able to finish. Round five was about not getting finished. What was in your head that fifth round you were hanging on, man? You got to hang on, man. This, this isn't all about brains. You got to fight with your balls out here. That's what I had to do. Hey, man, I live to, I live to be a champion again tomorrow. Not happy with my performance. You will see the best Michael Chandler next fight. Thank you guys all for coming out. I do got to say, I do have to say, San Jose, if Josh Thompson, if your boy Josh Thompson steps back into this cage and does not stand across the cage from me, he is an absolute coward. I'd love to run it back with Benson Henderson, put the paint on him next time. Tonight, even though I won, it wasn't my night. I will be back, believe it. You heard it, Josh Thompson, the champion, Iron Michael Chandler, give him a hand.